Hi, welcome to my video. In it I'm going to show you how you can hide your IP address. Um, now, why would you want to hide your IP address? Um, well, there's a variety of reasons. Um, anything from getting access to media sites that you can't normally access. Um, perhaps you've been blocked from a forum or a new site or something like that. Or perhaps you just don't like the idea of having your IP address logged and tracked by every single website that you visit on the internet. Anyway, I'm going to show you now, and instead of just showing you the address and changing it, I'm going to give you a more a practical demonstration. Um, I'm going to show you how, uh, I'm in UK at the moment, you see Google UK also looks up my IP address. I'm going to go to a website called Hulu, and maybe watch my favourite show, uh, Family Guy. Okay, I'm going to click on Family Guy, where do I watch it, where do I, go? let me just click on that. And you can see we get this message. Now, if you're watching this video, you've probably got this message before. You can get it all over the place on different websites. Um, just about any TV site in the world gives you this sort of message if you're on the place. Hulu will only stream to somebody who's in the UK, in the US, sorry. Um, and the way it does that is by looking at your IP address. I've got a British IP address. It's looked it up when I've gone and I can't watch it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we can get around this and how we change our IP address. Now, there's a lot of programs out there now that can do it. This is one of the first that was uh, ever released, and in my opinion, the best. It's called Identity Cloaker, and it's run from uh, Czechoslovakia, the Czech Republic, and... Um, it sits in your taskbar and basically it allows you to change your IP address at will. You get this little interface here. Um, I've masked some of the IP addresses out because it's best to keep them uh, secure. Um, there's lots of different countries here of different IP addresses in different countries. The majority are in the UK and the US. That's because they, um, they're the most used, mainly for sites like Hulu and BBC. Right, so I'm going to show you how to change it to a um, US IP address. They all come included. What I tend to do is pick down and see the response time, which is the quickest for me. That'll vary. And at the moment, it's something in New Jersey, these servers. So I'm going to pick one of those, double click, and I'm going to, I'm now connected. That's all there is to it. I've put the encryption level. Uh, Identity Cloaker is a security product. Uh, I'm just going to stream video here. So I put encryption down to none um, because you don't really need to encrypt uh, video. And I'm going to go back to Hulu. Right now I've gone to Google. I've gone to google.com now, not the UK version, because I've got a US IP address. So let me go to Hulu. And let's watch Family Guy. And here we go. That should just start. And there you go. And it's streaming. Um, Hulu looked at my IP address when I came around the second time um, and saw I had an American IP address. Well, what I actually saw was the Identity Cloaker American IP address. And that works perfectly. Um, you'll also notice it's very fast. Basically, you connect, you connect it straight away and you can stream video loads and loads of the cheaper um, uh, IP address software programs are completely overloaded and if you don't want to watch TV or, or you're you're not too worried about the speed of your web browsing they, they're okay if you're doing it purely just to hide your IP address but if you want to watch something like video or um, different websites and browse normally um, I would suggest going for something like Identity Cloaker, it actually has got an algorithm, a compression algorithm built into it that in many cases speeds up uh, your connection. So you'll find it, sometimes it's even faster than your normal connection. There's no guarantee with that though, it's just trial and error. But as you can see, this is stro um, streaming uh, to a UK computer with no buffering whatsoever, really. Um, I rarely get any buffering with Identity Cloaker unless the target server. Well, that's all it is to it, really. I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish now. I waffled on a little bit too long. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Bye-bye.